what the simple steps are to be omnipresent right being omnipresent means being everywhere on all social media and one of the things is i've been we've been listening with the girls and all that to uh youtube videos on youtube now because that's the thing for kids that's what they do they listen to youtube videos they would rather that than tv shows or recorded shows right and in those they always say this i'm going to do the same thing so make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're watching this on youtube follow and like the pages if you're seeing this on instagram make sure to follow me if you're seeing this on facebook make sure to like the page if you're seeing this on my blog make sure to subscribe to my list if you're seeing it on TikTok, make sure to follow me if you're seeing it on um where else on Twitter make sure to follow me just make sure to follow and connect with me so we're going to get into exactly how to become omnipresent the simple steps at least that I went through that you can go through too in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So you want to know how to be omnipresent right so before we get into that again I want to make sure if you're listening to the audio you're going to want to go check out the video at cis280.jsgagnon.com where you're going to be able to see the full video and the blog post and of course you're going to be able to subscribe to my youtube channel make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel and enable that little uh, bell to be notified whenever i post a new video because i do post them every single day and i am omnipresent let me show you what i mean by that being omnipresent uh where's the webcam let's go to the webcam and not the webcam but i mean the screen share obviously uh and like i said if you're listening to the audio you got to go check the video but here you go so you know for example first to start with i'm on youtube everywhere on youtube right i'm on youtube every single day i have my own blog that i post every single day i have my facebook page that i post to every single day this is not loading up load up load up yeah there you go i have a linkedin that i post uh, every single day i post on linkedin as well the different posts on there i have twitter of course i'm on twitter all the time I'm on Instagram uh, every single day I am on Pinterest every single day I post on Pinterest every single day I'm on TikTok every single day I am also on audio platforms like Alex uh, like uh, sorry this is Apple Podcasts I am on Spotify I am on Stitcher I am on Amazon Skills Alexa Skills I am on I heart radio I am on Google podcasts so that's the thing so being omnipresence me, mean being everywhere how do you be everywhere right what are the steps to get there so uh this will be a, a bit of a different episode because I'm trying to trying to kind of explain to you how to be everywhere right how can you be posting every single day everywhere so the first thing you got to do is you got to decide that you want to be omnipresent right if you don't want to be omnipresent if you don't think you need to be on other platforms because some leaders do teach that you got to focus on one platform and do just that platform become really good at it and I'm not saying that's not a bad strategy because that's kind of how I started actually I started like that I started by just being on Facebook just blogging and so it was Facebook but because I was blogging so I, really too I suppose right and then because of that I had to post a video on YouTube but that didn't mean I was on YouTube I was just posting videos there right and using those in my blog posts and then I was sharing the blog post to Facebook so again I wasn't really on Facebook other than the fact that I was sharing the blog post but that's not really what being omnipresent means it doesn't mean sharing your content from one to the other right it really has to do with creating content that you post to all the platforms right so the first step so let's just uh, actually you know what let's start a, a little a text document right here I'm actually going to go and create a new little text document because we'll keep track of what we're talking about text document so let's call it notes and let's just open that up so oops it's got to go on the right on this screen okay so the first thing is 
but like I said is okay so how okay the steps let's just say simple steps to become omnipresent right so first of all what is omnipresence right what what is omnipresence so presence it means being on all social media platforms that's what I mean by that now obviously it can mean other things and you know when I say all um uh, I should maybe say um this this is this means all relevant or popular social media platforms right so for me for me for me right now for <laughs> sorry for me what that means is being on uh, YouTube Facebook Twitter Instagram Pinterest uh Facebook Twitter Instagram Pinterest uh TikTok where what else do I got Instagram Twitter oh LinkedIn of course well let's put I'm even gonna put LinkedIn up here so LinkedIn and uh blog I'm gonna put blog because the blog is one of the things is that your blog is super important you need to have a place where people can go to to see all your stuff right and if you were to post and even if they can see all your all they can kind of see all your stuff on Facebook they can see all your stuff on Instagram they can see all your stuff on LinkedIn they can see all your stuff on on Pinterest they can see all your stuff on TikTok right they don't see it all because those platforms don't first of all those platforms don't let you uh they don't let you post full content of everything right so you can't like for example you can't post like a 30 minute video on uh on 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 TikTok it's only one minute right you can't post a well you can't do that either on Instagram you can't well actually Instagram lets you I don't know how long the I forget how long the IGTV one is it's probably a while a, a longer video but yeah so you're limited to like 15 minutes on Pinterest 10 minutes on LinkedIn for videos right two minutes on on Twitter right and the amount of text on Twitter is very small right and so so you need a blog to actually create content that you're doing regularly and that what does it give you to be omnipresent right because being omnipresent is extra work there's there is uh, you know the feeling of for me when I first started to try to be omnipresent it was like and even now because I'm kind of I'm kind of migrating my process right now uh, from a per, uh, from one way to another which is kind of the same but there's a little bit of sequencing that I have to adjust and that affects affects how much time it takes right but the but but the point is that being omnipresent does give you what uh, yeah, it's it's totally crazy you don't see it happening I I just got a, a client that wants to work with me and, and you know one of the things is that it's not my main focus to try to get clients to to work with me directly right I'm more focused on on scaling and automation and and helping others do the same thing but I need clients to prove that I can help right like I mean if I can automate something if I'm not if I'm not you know mainly doing something then you can't automate it right automation only works when you've proven that the manual work the manual way of doing it works right so I mean I need to have clients to to, to prove that I can do it right and I, I know I can do it and uh, but the thing is that un until I have somebody else saying that's true that I can do it then pff, automation has no value right so so I've been posting daily for years right and I've I've only become omnipresent the way that I I describe it now for I would say six six to eight months now and it's uh, it's making a difference I mean people are starting to see me more as an expert they're starting to they're starting to connect with me they're starting to notice me more they're anyways it, um, it's it's making a difference and people who've been following me for years like this person that reached out to me Lisa Marie she's amazing she's a realtor out in Florida but her and I have been connecting and, and messaging back and forth a little bit here and there kind of thing for since 2016 really right I mean when I first started on snapchat she was one of my first friends on snapchat that we both exchanged messages and 
and and you know it's just been a relationship like that on and off sending messages and she she's been thinking of doing funnels and and webinars and automation and things like that but she's been t- busy right i mean just like everybody else she's got a life she's got a she's a realtor that takes off a lot of time but she's been thinking of doing it and why would she contact anybody else when she's been seeing me do it and con- and constantly doing things and she sees that i'm i'm active and i'm doing things and it's happening and so she reached out to me and said that you know let's go let's do it and that's awesome <laughs> really that really really makes me feel uh, appreciated that my content is actually doing something anyway so that's the thing so being omnipresent being omnipresent actually eventually gets you that because these these especially the people that are on multiple platforms they'll see you more and more as you post all the time all over the place right so that's the thing you first have to decide that you want to be omnipresent okay so that's the first thing that's the first step the first step is you got to decide okay so yeah let's do that so step num steps step number one is decide decide you want to be omnipresent okay so because everything starts with a decision right everything starts with a decision if you if you're not able to decide to do something then you won't do it right you got to decide that's it's all in mindset right now step number two is you got to learn the basics and you know to learn the basics there's lots of different ways to do this right you can you could start learning uh, the different platforms you can start posting on those platforms you can start engaging on those platforms start you know you can spend a whole lot of time learning the different platforms that's one of the things that some of the leaders talk about right where where they say you know f- uh, focus on one platform and become an expert on that platform and start to get results on that platform before you go to the next right you certainly can do that but you know when I talk about learning the basics I'm talking about learning the basics of the process of omnipresence and the process of omnipresence is posting on other platforms and <laughs> and that that isn't very complicated to do right just posting on one posting on the other posting on the other just cutting and pasting things and whatever that's that's relatively simple to do and that's the basics is learning how to just post right don't worry about anything else because your your goal is to become omnipresent it's not to be an, a master of all the platforms it's just to be everywhere and, <laughs> and make sure people see you all the time because if you're not posting all the time um then you know they're going to see you less because the platforms also decide to show your stuff when you're um posting regularly you're not right okay so okay so number three so step number three what well, which might be might be number i don't know we'll see but anyways so you gotta you gotta uh re- well you have to do you have to do a pillar piece of content every single day and that pillar piece of content is what will take you the most time right because you gotta either record a 30 minute video like i do which is what i highly recommend because recording a video can then be used you can extract images out of that you can extract audio out of that and then you can create other content around those things that you can extract out of the video right and that really makes it easier to post everywhere because the other way is so you could do so create so actually you need to you need to create pillar content daily right so rec i recommend i recommend 30 plus minute video okay so the reason why i recommend a 30 minute video is because it it lets you really talk about what's going on you know you you get and and of course you have to figure out what kind of content you got to figure out well maybe we do that before right uh, because you know there's a lot of figuring out and you can either figure everything out before you start doing things or after and the difference is if you try to figure out everything before you start I it's going to take you a long time to start because there's so much to figure out unless you know you hire somebody and you work with them for them to figure out with you because they would have experience with that part of things right what is it you need to do you need to figure out who your audience is you need to figure out your avatar you need to figure out what it is that you really want to offer what is your offer what are you going to be selling 
and you need to figure out uh well and then that lets you figure out the kinds of content you got to generate or you got to create for your audience to bring them to that offer right so those are the things you got to figure out and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put that in here but I can put that I would say it's step number four right number four is figure out and you know I'm saying step number four because I just want you to start just start creating a video start creating the videos don't worry about figuring out just before because you need to learn all of it and yes it's better to figure everything out before you start and that's kind of what I end up doing in the five years right I mean the first three years four years I've still been figuring out what I'm trying to what my message is what I'm trying to accomplish what I'm trying to get what I'm trying to help people with right but you can figure it out before but like I said if you if you take a bit more time to figure it out you might lose a lot of potential people because lots of people are gonna love to follow you on your journey of discovery right you learning about what you're trying to teach about what you're trying to help people with about what what your message is you learning about that as you go can be a great thing to talk about in your in your videos right you can just and some people will follow you just because you're being genuine because you're being honest because you're being you right so that's one of the things when we talk about you know attraction marketing personal branding we talk about these things right where you need to be yourself right so figure out what your message is who your audience is who your avatar is avatar is what your offer is right so figure out all these things right what's your offer what's your avatar what's your audience what's your message right you figure all these things out as you go right uh, you could like I said you could figure it out before but really that's the thing so so then you become omnipresent by starting to create content every day and you then it's it's about creating assets so you know then okay so I guess so a typical 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 day of omnipresent uh, content looks like this so number one so record video now obviously you can do the blog post first but I do this like this right write blog post right so record video let's say it's 30 minutes Re write the blog post let's say it's 30 minutes right then number three is you generate assets so that that can take you anywhere from one minute <laughs> to four hours right De it really depends because you know generating the assets you're going to want to have uh, images you're going to want to have videos you're going to want to have text uh you're going to want to have audio so you're going to need all these pieces of asset from your video now now I'm, I don't want to scare you I'm not telling you that it's going to take you four hours I'm just saying if you try to do it if you want to do it all yourself and learn all the processes and how it all works it takes a while to do them all right because for example if you want to create a video for Twitter which is a two-minute video right and you're recording a 30-minute video well then how do you create a two-minute video you could record another video if you want which means an extra video to record or you take the a, a two minute part out of the big video and you use that as your Twitter video right the problem with that is that when you share that video to Twitter nobody knows what it's about what's the context I mean you you could have just a link to your blog post for example in the in the text uh but you know if they're watching the video and then they don't read they're scrolling through the feed and they just see the video and they're like oh I'll check this out for a second right they look at the video so that means that they might not they might not have the sound downs sound on so you might want to have text on there you want to have you know subtitles burnt in or on on there uh, that's actually something I that reminds me I should probably start doing that because I'm not doing that on my Twitter uh videos yeah oh yeah that's a good point okay so anyways so that's uh, that's the thing there um <clears throat> the other thing is um I mean 
so yeah so that's 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 some of the stuff you got to do right I mean it really is all about being omnipresent that's what omnipresence is all about is posting everywhere and creating all these assets so they're unique and so you know that's kind of what that is so yeah I mean you know to become omnipresent you need to do these things and learning all these things takes time it's not going to be tomorrow that you're going to get to this to this right you're not going to do this tomorrow it's going to take a while for you to actually go through and learn but if you one of the things that you could do right I mean if you look at uh, my content right if we go to say for example a click e-course and we look at the courses that are there I have my content that I've been creating for years that's available on here you could also try to find it on on YouTube <clears throat> if you go <clears throat> sorry if you go to my YouTube channel right you could sort by date added oldest and can kind of go through my older stuff which is very crappy in terms of quality but you can go through my older stuff and learn the little things one at a time you know these are all just short videos right three minutes five minutes one minute <laughs> look even 13 seconds 17 seconds well I didn't remember I had such short videos some of them are longer right uh like you know online branding series Facebook setup right um other things on here I, I remember that I did this a long time ago look at that number 10 produce content number nine set up your blog number six affiliate setup set up your YouTube get educated clarify get them MLSB register domain I don't remember, even remember what this was for but it's like you know, look four years ago right I did all this four years ago it's like ridiculous how long it's been since I've been doing these things but you can do that too you can learn from like say for example we go to here on Click eCourse you can actually go to simple online strategies there's the full one here which is the 260 simple online strategies videos that I actually did back back in the day right uh, from from years ago these are all here you can you can go through them all learn one little thing at a time right you learn one little thing it's just just that and that's the secret is you learn one little thing if you can't jump into everything right away right if you can't just do all this right away if you can't and and most people you know it's okay you you it's not possible to just do everything right away right but you still if you want to become omnipresent you need to be doing these things right you need to be creating content you need to be creating the assets you need to be posting on the platforms and you can't be posting you know one day on on one the other day on the other and do the other you know because that's not going to become that's not going to create omnipresence omnipresence means being everywhere at the same time and you can't be sharing links either from one to the other because the platforms don't like that you got to be posting native content and I'm going to show you my process actually I have a video I did for one of my uh, webinars I took that out of there and it's a video that talks about how to post the content how well how I post the content you can do the same thing we're going to show you that in just a second so let me just get that and switch over okay so yeah so the the cdd video that I actually did let's go back here to the top because it's a video I did a, not too long ago sorted by date uh, whoops I did the same thing <laughs> sorted by date newest and actually I don't know if I can let's just search for it um it's uh what is it omni uh, posting posting course income where should you be posting no that's not it oh oh I think it's actually an unlisted so let's go in my library and go into my unlisted so I'm actually going to turn the screen share off just because you know there's some unlisted stuff you know you know <laughs> so let's just do that let me just go find it here under my videos um it's not load it's not loading. oh yeah it's loading up okay just give it a second here I forget what it was but it's a video where I basically go through all my platforms and I share from one to the other actually you know what would be better let me just show you something that you can access instead let me show you what you can access uh let me just go back to the screen share here uh where is it right over here so let's go back here actually you can actually access this on Click eCourse if you go to uh, courses and there's a course here on the main page 
that is actually what I'm talking about the process that I go through to post everything there's a fastest syndication process right here which basically goes through my process of posting to all the different uh, platform so of course there's an introduction video and about me but then I show you how I post to YouTube right I post to YouTube let's see if that uh, will uh, work properly or not for what we want to show you there's going to be a little intro here the little intro from the clicky course site right there <laughs> that's uh, just playing there at the beginning of the video uh, that's because this course has them enabled for my episode every day I do this I create a new video a 30 minute or so video and then I create a blog post so I do two pieces of content right the video and the blog post and then I create some assets from that and then I post right so right now we're going to start with the YouTube posting so this is all you got to do is you go to your YouTube um, account then you go on the create you say upload you go find the file that you want which in this case I up I downloaded all the files to my computer and I just take the video right here which is the full video right here and I just click on this open <coughs> and then what I do is I take the text from the description I just go right over here I get the YouTube description <coughs> which is going to have the title right here I copy this title then I go back to YouTube over here I paste it in the title I take the description that I want I copy that I paste that in the description <clears throat> scroll down go to the image thumbnail I take the thumbnail and I use the thumbnail I generated right here I click on next <laughs> oops I can't see the next let's move me out of the way a bit then I click on the next again and I just say unlisted and I save it it's going to tell me that it's in the process of processing as you can see right here it tells me the version is going to be processing first before you can enlist it and I close that so I can leave that there if I want but I'm just going to close it to show you how it's right here and it's pending right okay so in the meantime I've created the blog post already if I look at my blog post right over here the la the newest blog post well it's not sorry it's not published yet because it's a draft blog post because I need the video to add to the blog post but I have the text and I extracted it and I created all those images right so that's how you that's how you do the YouTube upload next thing I okay so the next thing here let me get where's my webcam right over here whoops all right so the next thing is well anyways I'm not going to go through these videos but you can go check it out if I go back to this course right here you can see that all the videos are there um, and it shows you posting to LinkedIn posting an article on LinkedIn sharing my profile uh, group post to LinkedIn there's also posting a two-minute video on Twitter posting on Facebook using live OBS um, then uh, update audience a share video to groups posting to Instagram IGTV um, adding sound to SoundCloud and then uh, posting the trim video to Pinterest adding a pin for the SoundCloud and Pinterest adding an episode to uh, to the lesson so it goes to all my other audio platforms and then creating an Aweber email for my email list so I go through all these steps so you can replicate all that and all you got to do is go to the fastest uh, course clickycourse.com go to fastest uh, co under courses just look for fastest syndication process uh, right in the courses so you just click on the courses tab right here on uh, clicky course and uh, you'll see it right here at fastest syndication process it'll be either here it might be in the someplace else on the list but the fastest syndication process is what you want which is the course that shows you all the steps of what I do on my syndication and that's and that's how you become omnipresent you got to post 
so you got to learn the pl the process right you got to decide you want to be omnipresent you got to learn the basics you got to create pillar content which is a 30 minute video is what I recommend and then you got to create a blog post so pillar content your blog post and your and your video and then you got to generate the assets and then after that you got to post whoops post to all platforms so I do it in 20 minutes um and post 224 okay so that's that's what I do right and I actually have a blog post on that you can go check it out I uh I have a blog post that kind of goes through all that hopefully uh I'll put it in my blog in this new post here that I'm creating right now I'll have the link for that and um and yeah so that's how you become omnipresent that's how you do it and that's how I've done it that's how you can do it and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.